Apple gave me a computer and a thousand dollars in 1979, and that's how we started the learning company. And the mo the best work I feel was done early when we had three or four people and were very light on our feet and could. Uh, Warren Robinette took eight hours to orient to the similar code he used for Rocky's boots, and we didn't bother him during that eight hours. He worked in a pool house in Menlo Park. Um, Leslie Grimm supported him in getting tutorials, and um, Terry Pearl wrote a manual. It's like you only need a little team like that to do fantastic stuff. What are your uh, thoughts about the iPad? It's the computer we've been waiting for since the 70s. It's fantastic. At least that's how far I go back. Um, I feel like finally we can do what's needed for kids, as I see it. This is it. <laughs> I played with a tablet from another company recently, and it just wasn't the same at all. The, the grace of software design is phenomenal. Let's talk about it for a second, okay, and specifically zoom in to some things, because there's some things that excite me about it. I'm wondering if, you're, yeah. if, you're, if we agree. Um, what are the specific magical attributes that make this uh, a real um, one-of-a-kind? Well, it's being on the on the net is the biggest thing. I was playing with a child on Sunday, and we wanted to get some mojo for a game we were playing. And I loved that we could just put in a, a password, and boom, it was there. I could spend money so fast. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that much barrier to that, we could use it up in about five minutes. Being set up with the iTunes Store uh, is critical. Now, it's it's having a screen size that really works for looking at better than an iPhone or another uh, mobile device is is key. Um, and then I think it, it's fantastic that on the Mac you have integrated tools like um, iPhoto, iTunes, I, uh, Movie, iWeb. And I can sit here in my 60s and not know those things and all of a sudden I can create a website and I can make it interactive. I can put in links. Um, the multi-touch. Well, I just think it's fantastic. I met with some guys that have a new app they're testing at the Zeeum in San Francisco. Here the machine hadn't been out a week and I met with them for lunch last week and they already had something really wonderful using two hands and, and talking to make stories with cartoon characters. So it's the animator that kids have wanted for ages without programming, without you know tedious things between you and getting uh, your thoughts down. It's wonderful to learn programming and animation is a great way to do it. However, the immediacy of just turning things and enlarging them and talking all at the same time. I'd like to see two things. First, I'd like kids to have access to the tools and toys that really challenge their minds. I see so many kids in school that are much brighter than anything. They're, they, they aren't being challenged. So I see them using this to create their own thoughts and their own, uh, you know, of course, accessing a trillion pages of information, incredibly interactive things, but also creating. Secondly, um, a tremendous number of kids never learn to read or similarly do math, and I'd like to see a structured, sequenced way that within play, they can, it gets just so that that's a thing of the past. Some countries like Costa Rica and Finland don't have any illiteracy. Of course, they speak Spanish and Finnish, which is a lot easier. But still, every child should be able to read not just a little bit, but fluently. Talk about like some of the products that need to be made. And we're, we're assuming we're going to uh, play this at Duster Magic. So a lot of small developers, a lot of smart developers need some direction. And so uh, what what's your message? Well, mine is to think about the real needs of children. I think as soon as um, the learning company got away, it just thought of the market, like what parents think they want. <laughs> I'm going to be really, I'm glad I don't have investors right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. I was accused once by, by one of my board members, who was very smart, that I give children what they should want instead of what they do want or that parents uh, want. We have to conceive of something nobody's thought of. And that takes some research and, and some time to think. Um, so I think that there has to be a way that play finally meets learning in a more powerful way. And that the structure of and sequence of learning is respected in that. That we don't throw things like, in, in a game you might get alligator and cat to spell in the same game. It's like they aren't on those two levels. They're really just figuring out three letter words or they're doing multiple syllable words. It's just you can learn a lot by exploring, but 
that stri- that structure and sequence has to be underneath it without getting tedious and boring, which is what happens when you rely on the educators like me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that the people with the funding need to really consider a new way of doing it. It's like we're putting old wine in new skins, mm-hmm. as they say long ago. Um, there isn't a fundamental rethinking. Is there one title in particular that you'd like to see on an iPad? Oh, Rocky's Boots. Really? <laughs> in a heartbeat, yes. And how would I it... I talked to Warren Robinette about it this week. You did talk to him? Yeah, I did. Oh, are we going to... Party, the old learning company people are having a party. And I can't wait to see them. Are we... 48K machine. We had to edit the text to fit it to 48K. Amazing. Yeah, when we showed it at Xerox Park, they looked for an umbilical cord to the mainframe. They couldn't believe we did that what, <laughs> on a microcomputer. What kind of... what? How would Rocky's Boots on the iPad, or let's call it Rocky's Boots 2.0 or whatever, how would yeah. it be, what, what kind of things would you want it to do? Well, what it does now is use the fundamental ABCs of electronic uh, circuitry and also logic. We taught all of combinatorial and sequential logic uh, in a hands-on way with something that was real-time interactive. There were and or not gates, flop, clocks, flip-flops, and delays. And Warren introduced them more gracefully than any educator I could have ever found. You know, he said, this machine is a knot gate. Turn it on and see what happens. How graceful is that? I want that kind of thinking that's utterly brief and, and direct and also powerful. Because Warren just had um, little machines running around and eating alligators. And I said, no, you got to introduce things one at a time. So that was a case of thinking of the sequence of how somebody could understand something, but that's different than the curriculum. You know, we didn't say what's taught in second grade. We said what drives, like every piece of hardware and software in the world is based on and or not gates. Well, that seems like something kids could play with, even if it's graduate school material. People at Columbia University said, what am I going to teach them in computer science class? And I looked thinking they were joking and they weren't. (laughs) <laughs> it's, like, what? it's a new time and I think that that's a wonderful example from 30 years ago that's still true what could we learn with this interactive device well uh, and it's show and tell time uh, it's a it's, oh, okay. it's a part it's part of our program that we uh, shift since we have you in Skype and we're in your house virtually we saw your dog walk by yeah we saw your cat walk by I remember when I stayed at your house I snooped <laughs> And I've, I've got a lot of books. Uh, you do have a lot of books. Um, anything else we should see while we're in your house? Well, I'd like to turn, maybe I could uh, turn the camera around and show you the forest. We'd love to see the forest, whatever you want to show us. Okay, let me see back, but I have one of the original Rocky's Boots manuals in black and white. Awesome. <laughs> Couldn't afford color printing. And this is the second round of packaging. This was for Moptown Parade. Oh, this yes. This is another logic program Leslie Grimm did. Wow. <laughs> she brought it to us almost finished. Um, I have a database that we made when we were funded by um, Viacom. It's 300 pages of research about kindergarten reading. <laughs> and we then boiled that down to a one-page summary that uh, said, what is the art, the science, and the thinking of reading, writing, listening, and speaking? I think I'm holding up the math one. No, this is reading. And this one page, I got the idea from Apple that they would have a one-page memo. Like, the curriculum is one page. Mm -hmm. But underneath it is every line of that. And by the way, I can supply these on my website. I I have them. um, They're in a locked part of my my home site, but if somebody emails me, I'd supply them. We have every page of, okay, what does every line of the one-page summary mean? So we have define the skill. What's hard about it for a child, like a five-year-old? How do they learn it? How do we assess it? Where does it sit in the model? And then we have, I added prerequisites, but early, middle, and late competency. And then we make um, a sequence that's a flow chart that says every step needed to do that. Now that's all woven in with um, a summary. I have museums of the child at every age level. So from zero to one, one to two, I have the most popular current and classic toys and my team gets those out and plays with them and we have uh, workshops where we teach reading to the programmers in a, in English but in an alphabet they've never seen and they think wait a minute we need 
some kind of map. I said, well, that's why I told you we need a phonics chart. And we have wonderful characters and we have character Bibles that uh, this was Miranda Dragon from a Hewlett Foundation project we did um, that was one example of 2,400 math activities that we designed from the Nueva School with Mary Laycock, who's an incredible math teacher there. That's just a little sampling. Bubbles Blown. I got inspired by The Shape of Things by John Borden uh, and his crew at Peace River Films long ago. And what I like is how that links to six things fitting around one that the kids can give a name to called a hexagon. And what we're doing is uh, dozens of apps that are like that, linking nature with the, with logic and physical things kit, toys kids can play with, like attribute blocks or um, spirals, like the Milky Way is a galaxy and so is the inside of a sunflower. And we can blend between those, and that's just what we're doing, to see the patterns in nature, but they really underlie everything. You know, how mm. basic things like day and night, sun and moon, that's our first doubt. Very nice for a, publish, a small publisher who is just starting out trying to buy groceries. <laughs> Go on a diet. <laughs> no, I think... <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, just get something up and start selling it. If 10,000 people buy it, you, you've got groceries. Mm. You know, move on from there. Keep, keep the company lean. Uh, I'm amazed. I've been amazed ever since I started the learning company how many people really want to help. And brilliant, incredible people. Um, Apple fellows, um, hmm. heads of technology at Apple. Like, um, Mitch Kapoor offered me all his code when we had three people at the learning company that, that led to Lotus and, and, you know, just tap into the people that can help and also uh, follow what you deeply know is right. Something that bothers me is a publisher that really admired what we were doing but said, well, I know that's what kids need, but teachers uh, don't think so, so we're not going to do that. Hmm. Um, I think we've got to give kids what they really need. Nope. But learning, play. Put them together. Mm. Not easy. Not easy to get a team that knows how to do that. Yeah. Especially a big team. And impossible with a large group. No. <laughs> I really miss you all. I almost, tears come to my eyes, the thought of seeing everybody. So I hope there's another chance and I would work with all of you with great happiness. And as soon as a million people buy my first app, <laughs> I'll hire everybody again. <laughs> okay, everyone. Buy Ann's app. All right. Thank you, Ann. Thanks, Warren.